Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about again the UPDF its role in the peaceful transfer of power. You like it or not, the UPDF is going to play a major role in the peaceful transfer of power. But but before I do that, I'll explain to you the makeup of the UPDF. From the central region, 15% of the soldiers are from that region. 30% of the soldiers are from the northern region. 25 25% are from the eastern region and 30% are from the western region. If you go to generals, the western region makes up the most generals, followed by the northern region, followed by the eastern region, and then the central region comes last, if you go by generals. Also, in key positions for a peaceful transfer of power, is going to be chosen by the, by the makeup of the regions. You're going to find many people placed in key positions for a peaceful transfer of power are from the western region, followed by the northern region, followed by the eastern region and the central region. For a peaceful transfer of power, they want balance. That's why you see many soldiers in key positions are also a kind of balance. Western region has the most. Kind of balance, I don't know. But the Western region has the most people placed in key positions with, for uh, key positions for peaceful transfer of power, followed by the northern region, followed by the eastern region and the central region. What's your take on this? What do you think about the peaceful transfer of power and the role and the role the military is going to play? Because you like it or not, the military, the police, and the prisons are going to play a major role in the peaceful transfer of power. And as of, as you've seen, the makeup of the UPDF make your own conclusion how it will go because you like it or not as i say updf the military is going to play a major role in the peaceful transfer of power leave a comment and thank you